This video demonstrates our work on multi-resolution analysis of arbitrary meshes. In computer graphics, shapes are often represented using triangular meshes. Complex shapes are notoriously expensive to store, transmit, render, and edit. For instance, rendering this mesh of 70,000 faces at interactive rates is difficult even on a graphics workstation. Multi-resolution representations offer a promising alternative. In previous work, Lounsbury et al. have shown how to generalize the concepts of multi-resolution analysis and wavelet representations to surfaces of arbitrary topological type. However, there is a serious shortcoming with the work of Lounsbury et al. It can only be applied to meshes with subdivision connectivity. For instance, the mesh approximated in this example was obtained by recursively subdividing an octahedron six times. Few meshes encountered in practice have this restricted structure. The contribution of our work is an algorithm for approximating an arbitrary mesh, such as this one, by a mesh that has subdivision connectivity and is guaranteed to be within a prescribed error tolerance. We call this process remeshing. It allows us to apply multi-resolution analysis to arbitrary meshes. Multi-resolution analysis of an arbitrary mesh M thus proceeds in two phases. We first use remeshing to approximate M by a mesh MJ with subdivision connectivity. We then apply multi-resolution analysis to MJ using the work of Lansbury et al. The basic idea of remeshing is to construct a parameterization of M over a simple domain and then to resample M on a structured set of points using linear interpolation. Our remeshing algorithm consists of three steps, partitioning, parameterization, and resampling. In the first step, partitioning, we divide the surface into a set of triangular regions. Our method is based on the concepts of Voronoi diagrams and Delaunay triangulations. We first compute a Voronoi-like partition of the mesh from a set of sites. These sites are chosen carefully so that the dual to this partition forms a triangulation. Details of the site selection strategy are given in the paper. We then construct the dual to this graph and generate a set of triangular Delaunay-like tiles. In the second step of the method, parametrization, each of these tiles is mapped onto a triangle. The map we have chosen is the harmonic map, which is a map minimizing metric distortion. Our parametric domain thus consists of a simple base mesh, as shown here. In the third step of the method, we resample the parametric domain on a structured set of points. The points are structured such that the resulting mesh has subdivision connectivity. This resampling process adapts the number of samples to meet a prescribed error tolerance. Having generated an approximating mesh with subdivision connectivity, we apply the multi-resolution analysis of Lansbury et al. The surface is represented as a simple base mesh together with a set of wavelet coefficients representing detail. Multi-resolution surface representations offer numerous advantages. They can be used for progressive transmission. They can be edited more conveniently since broad changes can be achieved by editing wavelet coefficients at coarse levels. Finally, they can be used to automatically generate level of detail approximations. Here are results of multi-resolution approximation of the bunny model.